Heidi Ho YouTubers. I was recently in a chat room with some YouTube friends of mine in which I shared an old time technology with them. I won't go into the technology because I'll do a later video on it. But they were astounded to learn that such things existed. And then again, earlier this week, I posted a video in which I spoke about these technologies and the new green technologies and how we can use these to our advantage in an SHTF scenario. I got to thinking about this and within a few moments I put together a short list of well over 20 of these technologies that I'd studied in the past as I've been uh, into this prepping thing for quite some time. I only came up with 20 because that's all the fingers and toes I have. Well, I decided that it was time maybe that I start a new series here on my channel where I could share some of this with you. I won't go into the technologies too much, rather just giving you an overview and a few links to get you started. I'll try on each one of these videos to give you at least something that you can print out as hard copy in case the power does go out. Well, without further ado, here is Prep Tech, the first episode. In this episode, I'm going to share with you what's called a bread box passive solar water heater. It's actually the next project I'm going to start on here at Goat Hollow. I'm going to be using mine primarily as a water preheater for my hot water heater. Let me draw this out and explain to you what I mean. Let's assume you're taking a nice long hot shower. And as you use that shower, the hot water is coming out of your hot water tank and being replaced by cold water. Eventually you run out of hot water. And the burner or the electric element on your hot water heater has to come on and costs you a lot of money in these uncertain economic times. These solar bread box water heaters capture the sun's rays to heat the water before it even goes into your water heater. And that means the burner doesn't have to run at all. On really nice warm days, you can use valves to bypass your water heater altogether and heat your water just on the sun's power. These things have been around for a long time. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid supposedly had one. They're really simple to build. Nothing more than a wooden box with a glass top, an old used water heater inside, and some foil faced insulation to reflect the sun's rays onto that water heater which you've painted black. No moving parts. And you could build one for under a hundred bucks with minor construction skills. I've included over in the sidebar some links for you to look at here on YouTube. A couple of good projects also a PDF 
that you can print out with some good basic information. One of the YouTube links is <clears throat> from a lady by the name of Cassin H. It's a long series, very detailed, and has lots of information. This is another one of those projects that we can use the technology for our preparations in the future. If we study this kind of thing, prepare and plan, we'll get through this.